Lonely, hi Mr. Lonely, I have nobody, I'm all on my own, oh, I have Ben and Jerry. <laughs> That's upside down shit, fuck. <laughs> yes, greetings, welcome to Andon's channel, my channel, and also welcome to my Valentine's Day forever alone 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 usually whenever possible i like to do a little a fun little sketch video that's mostly about me and a ben and jerry so some things haven't changed i was planning on doing like a little a little video for valentine's day obviously i haven't done that so <laughs> so i thought instead you know i still want to keep up with the theme just so i can call this my valentine's day forever alone eight i've done it for the past seven years so why would i stop now <laughs> <laughs> so i thought andon you are finally 23 years old you're an adult now that's kind of scary to think about but you are. <laughs> so I have this lovely Ben and Jerry. Obviously I have to go with cookie dough because cookie dough is the flavor I've had now for the past seven years. But I saw that this one has fucking Oreos in it. I should not eat this, especially, especially not now. Um, I'll make a separate video where I talk a bit about, you know, what's been happening to me. Basically, I have a chronic disease. But I'm not gonna talk about that here because this is this this is because this is a place for me to just talk about love and romance and and Valentine's Day and everything that's just lack thereof. Basically, I'm gonna stop making this video when I'm done eating this ice cream. So we'll see how long this video is and for how much I'm gonna ramble because I don't have anything scripted, why would I? This is going to be me just straight up talking for 20 minutes, probably, <laughs> probably less, let's be honest. It doesn't take that long. But it's going to be me talking about me. So if you're a person who knows me in real life, hi, welcome, welcome to my vlog. <laughs> hey, I've uploaded YouTube videos for over seven years, so I'm not the weirdo. Okay, so a little shit, I didn't plan this out. I should have waited before I started recording because this ice cream is incredibly hard and I need to use one hand <laughs> for a microphone. Why didn't I think this through at all? Oh my God, I suck. Oh, mm. But yes, a little bit about me. Hi, I'm Andon, I'm now 23 years old. Relationships, what, what are those? I've never been in an actual relationship, but honestly it never really bothered me because I was always like a, you know, I was a bit of a, a loner kid. You know, I had a lot of anxieties growing up. So during my teenage years, I was basically just alone in my, in my room and I didn't really hang out with friends. I didn't really meet up with people. So I kind of, I, 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 I made YouTube videos. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> no, but so I never really had like, ooh, a teenage experience with another person. Here I am now, I'm 23. And I've never really been in, a, in, a, in an actual relationship. As I said, it didn't really bother me until like last year. I feel like last year was when things sort of like took a turn when it comes to me and 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 romance. Because at the end of 2018, I actually made a real Tinder account. And during the Christmas of 2018, I saw that someone had super liked me. And I was just like, obviously, that's a fucking mistake because fucking... Ugh, self-deprecating humor. <laughs> but no, somebody had actually super liked me. And I was like, oh. So I liked him back, and then we actually started to chat. And just like the chatting bit, just, just talking to a stranger online was something that I've never felt easy. You know, I've never really been able to do it. I, when I had Tinder, you know, for like that one month, I just always swiped no, just because I was like afraid of like, oh, but what if we match and then I'll have to like, engage in a conversation with these people huh but but thankfully since i did match with him and we started talking and we we, we we gelled you know we had common interest and he was awesome he was very fun unfortunately he did not live in sweden or germany i never had a chance to actually meet him instead we just engaged in you know like chatting with each other and like over discord and stuff on until uh, until march of 2019 but so i guess you could say that we had sort of a thing for like two months but where we like chatted and we talked and I really enjoyed it. But during March, I realized that, oh, I haven't actually m m met this person before. I think during my conversations with him and everything, that's when I realized that, oh, I'm not really comfortable 
potentially actually starting something real if I haven't met this person before. Because right now I'm just feeling like like we're friends. Unfortunately, I just wasn't feeling like a romantic connection. And I felt like a part of that could be because I haven't met this person. So, you know, a lot of things going on. <laughs> you know, the, the, the mind is a beautiful thing. <laughs> but so yeah, I, I, I stopped that. And fortunately for me, that experience gave me a lot more confidence for the rest of the year. Like, I feel like what happened there during like January, February and March was like the catalyst of the rest of my year. Um, over, over time, I became more, more confident in myself, which I never really, I never, you know, I'm not a confident person. A lot of anxieties and insecurities and all of that. I went on a, a whole like acne treatment during 2019 as well. You know, a lot, a lot of things happened in 2019. A friend of mine uh, was also on Tinder, you know, a coworker, uh, because those are the only friends I have. Why would I meet people outside of work? <laughs> and um, he also had Tinder and we, sort of like, you know, we had a little, you know, a little bonding over how loserish we were, you know, because we could never actually meet anyone. Obviously, he was trying to meet people. I really wasn't because I was still like I, I I couldn't really get over the face of, you know, now I could actually chat with people, but I still couldn't, you know, take the next step of meeting a person in real life, and I honestly I still can't <laughs> but it's it's you know it, it it's a process okay so you know this guy and i you know we, we sort of bond you know during the year he's a good friend of course so it was funny you know it was relatable as one would say it made me feel like okay i'm not a loser <laughs> but then he actually meets someone from the app and i think he continued meeting that person for like two weeks and his personality the way he acted and everything changed uh, not drastically but it definitely changed he became more confident it seemed like he became a lot more open he started saying things like oh but it's just about taking the first step and shit it's just like fuck fuck that was the first time i think i ever actually thought to myself oh i'm falling behind aren't i i am 22 at the time <laughs> and i'm like I feel like I'm not, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm I'm missing out on something. And that kind of feeling was a bit new to me, and it was a bit like, oh, damn it, why am I, why do I suck? <laughs> and then, of course, the very same year after he himself became maybe subconsciously more confident, he also got a girlfriend. Um, so, you know, congratulations. But not only did he get himself a girlfriend, the girlfriend is fucking awesome. And I'm very happy for the two of them, so hi. I know you're for some reason watching this very rambly video. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. And then that experience, you know, of me feeling like, oh, I'm missing out on stuff, blah, blah, blah. It did lead me to actually take a big step on my part, which was confessing to people how I felt about them. Because during my time uh, in Germany, but during 2019 especially, I started to look at people and I started to be like, that's a very attractive person. Oh, and the personality is great too. Well, shit. So I started to not fall in love, but I start to be like, I guess, infatuated? I guess that's the word, you know, with people for for the first time. And obviously the two of them were guys and straight and one of them has a girlfriend. <laughs> so nothing would ever happen. But the fact that I took like the, the next step of sorts of actually like saying like, this is how I feel about you. I know you're not gonna reciprocate and that's fine. I just needed to, get it off my chest basically and one of these people i'm very much very good friends with still and i'm very happy about that and i still very much you know i i i, I can safely say that i love him as a friend <laughs> and you know he's just the best person ever you know that feeling like whenever a person you find that person attractive and then that person just keeps on talking and you're like fuck is going on and it's almost like something ain't right because every time they talk they just become more and more like perfect and it's just like what the fuck so that, that happened with one of the <laughs> with one of the people um but we're friends the other person never texted me again but that's fine the fact that i took the next step i was just like yeah i did it woohoo and i that, that was enough sat satisfaction for me um now we're arriving towards the end of 2019 and basically that's sort of where things have ended, except that I'm still, these feelings of like infatuation and like uh, all of that, that's definitely not stopped. You know, I'm here in Copenhagen now and there are definitely people here where I'm like, ah, shit, damn it. Nah. And because this is a very 
male dominated industry, most of the people are guys. And that is my romantic experiences of the past year. And that's basically what this video is. And I am not even halfway through my Ben and Yeri because I just, I didn't anticipate that it was going to be so frozen. But so for me, even though these experiences wasn't like the biggest things ever, again, I'm 23 years old, but for me, it was. And I told myself, 2020, it's gonna be my year, you know, I'm gonna start e eating healthier. <laughs> I say as I take a bite of Ben and Yeri and I'm gonna like lose weight and get to the gym. And I am actually starting to do that. So I am making progress. So that's fun. Obviously, I don't want to lose weight and stuff just because like, oh, I want to feel attractive to other people. No, I just want to become more confident. And I feel like a way to get more confident is probably, you know, to start working out and start taking better care of yourself and such. And that is what I'm doing. So, you know, I'm focused on me. I did not expect that I was going to be diagnosed <laughs> with a chronic disease this year. But again, that's another video for another time. I feel like in 2019 is probably the year that I had like the most personal growth at 22. Who doesn't? I already feel more confident than I was in, in 2018. I'm a lot more talkative now. When I got to my new place of work, I'm like, I'm gonna try and talk to everybody and just ask for their names and stuff. And you know, I kind of kind of worked. Um, I'm really enjoying my life at this moment. You know, I feel happy at this moment, which, you know, usually like during my whole like teenage years and stuff, I was always, you know, depression and stuff because you're always depressed, but I don't really feel upset or sad or depressed. I don't really f f feel those things except for a tiny bit when it comes to like, oh, I feel like I'm missing out because I, I haven't been in a relationship and I haven't done that. It's fine. You know, I feel like my time will come when it's meant to come. You know, my time will be when it's meant to be. And for now, I am really, really liking where I am at the moment. You know what? You know what also started during 2019? Me playing Dungeons and Dragons. I don't want to say that everything about me has changed because of Dungeons and Dragons. There might be something to it. I'm the DM. I'm the Dungeon Master. All of a sudden, I have responsibility. I need to, to run a campaign and make my players happy. And now I'm a player too in a campaign and it's so much fun and I'm really enjoying it. And it's taken up my entire life and I feel more, you know, maybe, maybe there is a connection there. I don't know, it's interesting. Oh, I guess I can talk a bit about you because sure, wh why not? People are interested, I guess, you know, especially because it's YouTube. Again, this is, this is not a coming out video. <laughs> and the reason I say that is to not like, diminish other people making coming out videos. Um, for me, however, the way I've grown up, I've never grown up in a society where I feel like I need to come out. Because I know that all the people around me in my life are completely fine with who I am and they already know. Like, let's be honest, <laughs> they already know. There's no reason for me to having to ma make a big spiel and make a whole like, oh, I, I need to sit all of you down at the dinner table. You know, that's just never gonna happen. And I feel sorry for the people in other countries and stuff who feel like that's something they have to do because they are unsure that the people that they love and their families and their friends, they're afraid that they won't respect that, that they won't like that. And I'm very fortunate in my life, privileged as one would say, <laughs> um, that I don't have that fear. I don't have that fear at all. But I guess I can talk a bit about being who I am. I am 23 years old. I'm oozing with confidence. <laughs> I came to the realization that I was not straight. <laughs> when I was around 15 or 16, that was when I actually told myself, yeah, okay, there's something to this. <laughs> and it's just interesting because when I look back in my life, it's so obvious that I wasn't going to grow up and be, and be straight. Because when I look back and I have memories and stuff, like for instance, like the perfect example, like my biggest example, because I remember it so clearly. Lion King 2. Remember Kovu from Lion King 2? I liked him. Like I I liked him. Obviously, I was too young to have like, you know, to have, to have those like attractions and stuff, but I definitely was interested in Kovu the lion. <laughs> and there were so many other instances when I remember watching movies and stuff where I was more interested in the male characters than the female characters. Looking back to those memories, I'm like, whoa, that's fucking like crazy. I guess we are born with it. Cause like, 
that was all subconscious. I didn't even know what a gay or a bi person was. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> but it wasn't until I was around 15 or 16 when I finally was like, okay, this is who I am. And I, I never really talked about it openly because I was a bit afraid, actually. I was actually a bit afraid. Even though I feel confident now, as a teenager, you don't really feel that confident. I definitely would never be like, this is who I am. I'm not really a, you know, a pride flag kind of person. I'm not that colorful, obviously. <laughs> Again, yeah, as I said, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy in my life and it can only get better from here. And it's, it's, it's all gonna be sunshine. It's gonna be rainbow and all of that. Oh my God. I got a whole fucking thing of, there are like actual whole things of Oreos. I think that's it though. Yeah, I don't really think I've had anything else to say. And I had a good time of speaking in front of the camera because I haven't done it for such a long time, it feels like. I haven't stopped doing uh, Doctor Who stuff, Doctor Who reactions, that'll still come. Oh boy, if you watch this video this far, you don't care about that. <laughs> God, did you see the Batman stuff though? Oh, Robert Pattinson. He looks so good as Batman. Did you see that suit? This is not the video to talk about that, but oh my, it looks so nice. No, I gotta get back to D&D. &D. <laughs> I got a campaign to plan, and uh, I have some character stuff I need to think about. I mess up my, my laptop here because I spilled ice cream all over it. I'm sorry. I hope you had fun. Welcome Valentine's Day. It's a mess. It's all a mess, which is why this, this video also was a mess, you know? life. <laughs> I'm gonna go now though, but I hope you all had a fantastic day. Oh, and tell me, how did you spend this year's Valentine's Day? Are you alone like me? Let me know your thoughts and, and, and opinions about Valentine's Day in the comment section down below. I would love to read them and I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you guys next time. It'll hopefully not be too far away because I still have, I think, seven Doctor Who episodes to, to watch, so. Happy Valentine's Day.